Yo, what's going on, guys? Mr. Eric here. Hope you're having a great... Shut up. None of that cringe stuff. It is Mr. Eric, and it's Thursday, October 21st, 2021, and today's a crazy day to go over. Now, today's another interview day. Whoa, Mr. Eric, another interview for what? For a new nursing job. Whoa, Mr. Eric, where at? St. Francis Hospital. Damn, Mr. Eric, St. Francis Hospital must like you for doing two interviews for you. Mm, I don't think that's the case. I'm pretty sure this hospital is just desperate for nurses like every other hospital in this country. So they're trying to call everybody that applies. So like I said in the other video, the floor I interviewed on the other day is a medicine observation floor. So it's just a bunch of med surge patients who stay there for a little bit before they go home just to make sure nothing wrong is going on with them. The floor today is a post-stroke floor. What does that mean for you non-healthcare experts? Well, a stroke is when you have a blood clot in an artery going to your brain, so blood flow gets impeded, and then you lose a bunch of function on the side of the brain that the blood flow isn't going to. So if you have a right-sided stroke, the left side of your body can't move properly, and vice versa leads to a bunch of problems like potential falls and so forth. So unfortunately, one of the big problems in our country is stroke, so every hospital pretty much has a stroke floor. Anytime a patient comes in with with a stroke they got to give them meds or do a procedure and then that patient for rehab initially goes to a post-stroke floor for more monitoring so that's this floor that I interviewed on the manager I interviewed with was super nice she seems to really need nurses and she told me that the current nurse patient ratio is like six to one seven to one so that's kind of a red flag for me the other floor I interviewed on the other day has a five to one patient ratio which seems a little bit easier and to be honest I'm at that point in my life right now with nurses that I kind of just want to get the experience for a year no matter where it is but I want it to be easy work once I get one year on the resume I can literally do anything I want because I think I'm a smart guy when it comes to nursing and I can adapt pretty quickly so whatever I can do for this next year to make my life easy and my job easy so I'm not stressed at work when I can be stressed at the warehouse doing this business I don't want to be double stressed with two different jobs I'd rather be more chilled out at the nursing job and be more high intensity stressed with this business so during the interview I asked all my questions to help me make my decision about whether I want to work on this floor the post stroke or the medicine observation floor and as it came down to it I was pretty heavy set on the medicine observation floor so what are some of the questions you asked in the interview mr. Eric well I obviously I asked about the nurse patient ratio but we already discussed that another thing I asked about was bonus potential now the manager told me that when they're short staff they can get approval from the chief nursing officer to give bonuses to nurses that come in last minute to work it could be like an extra $25 an hour however this is not a unit specific thing it's kind of a whole hospital thing so it can be applied to any floor so when I'm starting to work on the other floor I'm hoping I can pick up those bonuses especially on weekends that way I could get that extra pay for less time doing the job now if this bonus was specific to this post stroke floor I might be more inclined to work on the post stroke floor but that's not the case another question I asked was the diversity of patient population now the nurse manager told me they get a lot of post stroke however they get some other patients too so that diversity is there but it seemed like the diversity on the other floor is a lot better so I can see a lot more cases a lot more conditions that I could learn from and pick up from another thing I asked was the pay rate so at St. Francis they have a base pay no matter what floor you're on for all the new graduate nurses that go through the GNR program aka the graduate nurse resident program program and that pay is $32.50 an hour with an extra $3.50 for evenings an extra $5 for nights and on weekends an extra $4 on top of those differentials so if I'm gonna be getting paid the same no matter what floor I'm on why not work on the easy floor and have a happy life with all those questions being answered I made the decision that I want to work on the medicine observation floor aka 7-1 at st. Francis so on the car ride back home Home, I gave a call to Mr. Ryan who's the nursing recruiter and told him my decision and he was happy to hear that I'm going to be working there so congratulations looks like I have a job I just have to go through a few more steps sign some papers get the uniform get the badge and then I'll be starting on November 8th with the orientation I'm hoping it's a good crowd of people that I can vibe with and I'm hoping it's a good transition into the nursing career once again I will update you on November 8th to let you know how it goes stay tuned like I said I was on my way home when I called Ryan the reason I'm going home is because I need to eat because I'm hungry 
and I need to pick up mom because mom has an appointment at the car dealership in Bristol by the warehouse to do some sort of oil change, I don't know, on the Prius. So I follow mom to the dealership and then I have to take her with me to the warehouse where I can unload some more stuff from the van and then she can leave me here so she can take the van home to pick up Daria or do something with Monica. I don't know what's going on. I was so freaking tired by the time I got to the warehouse that I was about ready to take a nap and that's what I did. I took a nap on the futon. Uh oh, Mr. Eric, back to taking naps. What happened with you? Well, let me tell you. I didn't say this yesterday because I didn't know if I wanted to say it, but big news. I got the coronavirus vaccine. Whoa, whoa, you got the vaccine, bro? Yes, I did. I am sorry to announce that I got the vaccine. I was in a big pickle. St. Francis has a vaccine mandate for their employees. And I heard that it's tough to get the whole religious exemption thing. And this whole onboarding process is like a last minute thing for me. I was literally like one day away from being pushed to the N December orientation instead of the November. And if I had to waste that time figuring out a religious exemption, I might be thrown under the rug. So I kind of just went with it. I got the vaccine. Congratulations, Eric. I hate the fact that I got the vaccine, but I freaking got it. And you know what happened? I felt freaking weird today. I don't know what got into me. I got good sleep, but I was freaking exhausted. My arm hurt. My arm hurting was not the problem. It was just how fatigued I felt. I couldn't like stand on my feet without yawning. So I just took a nap. I laid down for three hours and all of a sudden, three hours later, mom and Monica walk through the door and scare the crap out of me because they're holding pallets and banging the wall. Now I woke up immediately thinking it was a robber, but thank God it was only them. They were dropping off some pallets from the house because they were in the garage and then they were giving me the van keys so I could have a way home later. I was not able to go to sleep after that, so I just got to work. I organized some stuff in the warehouse because tomorrow I'm getting a huge shipment of 12 pallets of Gaylords of Books. You see all that behind me? You can already see the pallets, surprise, because I'm recording this video tomorrow night after the pallets have already arrived. But pretend that's not there and it's just a bunch of cardboard boxes and a bunch of other random stuff. I had to move all that out of the way just to make space for these pallets. So all the stuff that was there is either on this side of the table or it's at home. I spent the whole night making room for these 12 pallets so that tomorrow morning John and I can move them in no problem. Took a couple hours to organize and then I was on my way home to go to sleep. Thank God I hit the hay because I don't know what would have happened if I stayed awake any later. Maybe I would have gotten a stroke. Only God knows. Looking forward to meeting up with you tomorrow again folks. We'll discuss the Gaylords. Till then, peace.